Some 2,000 M1A ones were the backbone of the most powerful armored force ever mobilized. Desert Storm began with a furious air campaign. The ground war followed. Using computerized firing systems, the Allied tanks took the Iraqi tanks completely by surprise. We began to hit them before they could ever even acquire us, let alone return fire. It was truly a, a devastating effect that was in fact quite lopsided and consequently it put them in a position to decide whether if they wanted to stay and die, try to run and die, or to surrender. And they did a little of each. It was a decisive result. In just 100 hours, over 2,000 Iraqi tanks were destroyed. The world's fourth largest armored force was reduced to tangled metal. The pure explosion of kinetic energy uh, is something to behold. It's almost as if you see a phosphorus fire, an instantaneous flash, uh, which then would ignite onboard munitions and fuel, which would then be the secondary explosion, which would take the, uh, in the neighborhood of 15 to 20 ton turret, and expel it into the air as, as almost as if a garbage can was flying in the air and it would land anywhere from 50 to 100 meters away from the tank. Despite the ferocity of the ground battle, not one single M1 was destroyed by enemy fire. <laughs> 